so tight, like just. No, nah, I believe it. Yeah, like it would. There would be like restriction, kind of going like this. Back, right? Yeah. Yeah, and like even just like. Yeah, I mean, I was selling them earlier. Oh shit! What's up, guys? Welcome to <laughs> <laughs> welcome to a brand new YouTube video. Um, so today, starting off the YouTube video, just got some work done. You guys saw that boy Andy got me right whenever it was uh, twenty. Was it twenty twenty two nationals? Yeah. Yeah. Well, Damn, last well. year. Yeah. So yeah, my for those of you guys that don't know, my last competition um, back in twenty twenty two for all nationals in Vegas, like my groin and adductor was just so messed up, like couldn't squat. Started seeing Andy, was able to get some sessions here and there before I was actually able to step on the platform and compete. But um, filling you guys in, I'm starting to low bar a lot of weight frequently. Um, 700 pounds is starting to be a number that we're hitting over and over again. So for low bar, um, it puts a lot of stress on my shoulders and elbows. So obviously I have to make sure my shoulder mobility is good. Um, but we're also now benching four times a week. So Joey, with the new blog just added in the fourth bench day, which is on Saturdays. I've done this before, um, but what usually happens is that it puts a lot of stress on my shoulders. And so I have to make sure that I'm actively taking care of my body. And Andy comes in with that and helps in, or helps like kind of like releasing some of the tension that's like built up in my chest, probably elbows, shoulders, back, like everything. And like, what were some of the things that you found? Pretty much within your front as well, upper pec, all wet, and carries, and yeah. scapula border. Yeah, but I feel great now. Like now I'm just like free movement, all that kind of stuff feels a lot better. Like something as simple as like when I'm lotioning in the morning. So like I have to like lotion my rear delts, right? Cause I don't want to ask you delts. So I have to like almost like push over here to get to that position. And it would be so uncomfortable shoulder wise. And I just feel like discomfort and restriction trying to do that. Now, like literally I can just do it easily. It doesn't feel anything. So I'm gonna have to be keeping up with this. It's something I'm probably gonna do probably like once a month-ish. Yep. Um, just following up and making sure that we're taking care of the body because I don't think, I mean like what, once again, when you're squatting or doing the kind of weight that I'm doing, um, it's, it doesn't take very long to start feeling discomfort if you're not taking care of your body. So I have to make sure that I'm actively doing that or else it's going to be very painful. And then those numbers are going to start dwindling down because Tuesday I was squatting, man, I couldn't even like, after every single set, my shoulder would literally just like becomes so painful that I would just have to like sit here and let it like kind of settle down. And then I'm like, okay, I could go again. Um, and I don't want that. That, I mean, you shouldn't have to do that in order to get better. So yeah, that's it for today. I'm gonna go bench, <laughs> literally just undo everything Andy just did to me. But uh, I'm gonna bench and then um, get to it. So I'll catch you guys later. Currently getting ready for the gym. Uh, it is Saturday. One of my favorite, if not my most favorite day to train. And uh, I did some minor Black Friday shopping. So I bought some new tees. This is going to be the tee I'm going to be wearing under my singlet. Uh, so I'm trying to do this thing now where I make tees kind of like cutoffs. So instead of wearing like a whole competition tee, I want to see. And I'm not sure if this is against the rules or not. Can I wear like a cut off tee? So like a drop shoulder type of vibe on the platform. I need to look at the rule books. I need to talk to a couple of people to figure out if I can do that. Because I want to start making that a vibe. I like having a compression tee or a nice tee that has a cutoff. Because it creates like this nice look. Like with the singlet. I think you guys kind of peeped it Thursday when I was deadlifting. But I basically made like a little crop drop shoulder top. I'm going to put it on. I'm going to get dressed. I'm going to show you guys exactly what it looks like. And then we're going to mix. You know what I'm saying? We're going to mix some pre-workout. And then we're going to start getting ready to hit the gym. Because I'm super excited for today's training session. All right. <clears throat> Let's see how this looks. Good to go. I complain about the fit, you know. The cutoff is nice. It's gonna look a lot. It's gonna look a lot nicer when I put on the singlet and all that kind of stuff. I'm currently wearing the uh, Panda singlet. So the purpose of me wearing singlets on squat days is to obviously check depth, make sure that we're executing technique at high levels at all times because we're returning back to the IPF and they don't play about that kind of stuff. But now it's time to pick out the shoes. Woo! It's gonna be hard. But I already know what I'm going to pick out because I already have my socks on. The socks help dictate what kind of shoes we're going to be wearing. So I do have a black and white singlet uh, with the primary colors being black. But I was watching Jordan highlights and he was wearing black shoes and or white shoes with like kind of like a black outfit. And I thought it looked dope. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up these. Ugh. These are the Fragment 3s. Uh, I think they're like the Tinker collab. So I'm going to pick these up, wear these. It's going to look really good in contrast with the white T-shirt and the all black singlet with white accents. And that's how I pick out kind of like my fits for 
my training sessions. Picking outfits is very important to me because it sets the tone of how the workout's gonna go. The simple concept, if you look good, you feel good. If you feel good, you live good. So that's the concept that I've adopted over the course of time. Very, very important, but cleaned up the apartment. Everything's ready to go. Now it's time to make this, make this pre and head on over to the gym. Great team. Flappy workout. So real motherfuckers know you cannot pull up to the gym in the shoes that you're gonna squat in. If you're gonna squat, you gotta pull up to the gym in some slides and then have the shoes on the side. I feel like that's like a hooper thing. Like it's like a hooper slash football thing or maybe it's an athlete thing, but you cannot pull up to the gym in the same shoes that you're gonna squat. You gotta pull up some slides, maybe some, some Crocs, some Birkenstocks. I don't know, gotta be something different with you. It's almost like when you put it on, it's like, all right, I put the shit on. Now it's time to like really get after it type shit. So I think a lot of people like, it's almost like, it's almost like Ash Ketchum, right? He got the hat backwards. No, no, he got the hat front, I think. And then when it's ready to go, that, that motherfucker go, he, all right, Pikachu, I choose. And then, you know what I'm saying? So it's almost like, all right, I got my slides on, but now it's time to put on the J's. Okay, but enough talking. Pretty tastes good. I'm gonna step on this and I'll catch you guys in the gym. Been a PR, shit. That was 7.55 for uh, for two. Um, so we're like I said before we start the workout. I'm trying to get a lot more, a lot more eyes on my squat depth, and I think uh, luckily I got my boy Jay with me. Uh, so he was getting side shots or side angles of my uh, of my sets, and it's like rep number one, it was okay. I mean, I would, just for the sake of argument, I'll call it like a little bit high, and then set rep number two was deep. So like, I'm looking back at it, and it's like we're trying to reach a standard that's undeniable. So that's just that's the grading cell that we currently have. I think that that first rep would have been fine, but on a stage where everything is being looked at to be taken away, we got to make sure that we're sharper. Actually, shit, I'm looking at that first rep. Shit's kind of deep. So that's rep number one, and then shit, rep number two. Oh, nah, fuck that. <laughs> hey, man. I think both of them. I think both of them rest were solid, but rep number two is definitely like super deep. Um, but I'm really satisfied with today's training session. I, I like where things are trending. I'm paying a lot more attention to my weight. Oh, shit. I'm paying a lot more attention to my weight and where uh, things are going in that direction. And then obviously in December, we're gonna start being a lot more critical and a lot more like hands-on with my actual weight and paying attention to where those numbers are at and where they're trending towards going into next year. So I'm super fucking, I'm like on a high, right? I didn't record the whole workout. Uh, I just kind of here by myself and I was just like, man, let's get to it. And I'll film my, my top set and that's what we did. And after that, we did back down sets with uh, five, uh, yeah, 595 pounds. I was already cooked. Um, shoulders feeling a little iffy, but something we'll just continue to work on. So, fucking good ass session, man. Super proud. Getting out of course, Chevelle. Back home, obviously, right? Uh, but I stopped by and got some pre made meals. Shout out to the gumbo that I'm finna eat. 49 grams of car, or 49 grams of protein. Like, six carbs and uh, six fat. 
Also warming up some tacos and I'm a grub. Recovery, man, recovery is important. We had a crazy session. Once again, to reiterate, I mean, shit, 755 double and pretty good depth too. Um, and now I'm just gonna kick it, man. I have a um, birthday party thing to go to later today. That's gonna be like later in the evening time. It's Joel's birthday. I'm gonna celebrate him at like Cidercade, which is a game place. And that's gonna be it, man. So I'll, I'll probably tap in with you guys before I dip on out, show you guys the fit or something like that. But I'm cooked. Let me give you guys a time update. It's currently 3.20. I'm just now getting my first meal in the day. I'm cooked. I already know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna eat this meal, I'm gonna knock out. I'll probably catch up on some um, Yu Yu Hakusho. Every time I try to watch it, I get distracted with social media, but woo, I feel good, but I also feel tired. I just wanna come on here real quick to show y'all that I'll be putting that shit the fuck on. So we got, we got, um, I think this is from Javinci. We got a shirt from Javinci. You guys probably seen me wear this shirt a lot of times. Hat from Rude, pants from, I don't even want to say it because I don't even want to give this away, but fit is cold. We eating today. Oh, yeah. But anyway, it's funny to go celebrate Joel. You, probably, you guys probably know who Joel is um, on TikTok and all that kind of stuff. But you can tell I'm getting sick a little bit because, like, it's starting to settle in. My voice is, like, going and all that kind of stuff. Low-key late, so I'll catch you guys tomorrow morning. Damn, y'all missed it. But the way this thing was sizzling, I just put some vitamin C in here or some emergency inside of here. And the way it was sizzling was crazy. It sounded like I was mixing up a concoction. <laughs> but good morning, guys. Uh, it is now Tuesday. Today, squatting, um, very lightweight, relatively lightweight. And I want to make sure that we execute good form. I feel like Saturday session was a little bit high. Like I want to make undeniable depth. And like, I was going back and forth between it and I'm like, nah, like I need to make that bitch deeper. Like, I don't care what nobody says. Um, as a powerlifter, there's gonna be things that you need to work on in the off season. Every powerlifter is gonna be different. Um, some people need to work on their technique. Uh, some people need to work on maybe like getting proper elbow depth or whatever. But for me, the two things that I've identified in my training that I need to really like hone in on is depth on squat and then um, holding on to deadlifts. And they've never really been a problem on me day, but it's something that I focus on during the off season to make it a point. So when we get on me day, it's not even an issue, which I've been proud about because it's only been an issue. Like depth has only been an issue one real meet. I've never missed depth on the IPF stage, even like a USAPL meet. I think I've missed, I think like outside of that one meet in 2019, where like I almost bombed out. I don't think I've ever really had a problem with depth. So um, it's something I'm just gonna keep hammering in. Um, but it's time to lock the fuck in. So drinking this emergency because I have been feeling under the weather and I'm gonna drink some pre too. This emergency low can be busting. And then now it's time to mix the pre. I don't know why, but I like mixing my pre-workout in a Chick-fil-A cup or like a styrofoam cup from a, uh, from a fast food restaurant. I don't know why, it just hits different. It feels like you're like, you know in high school you used to have a cup and you used to be walking around with a cup and everyone knows that you had like that fast food for for lunch or whatever. It's like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I had McDonald's, so I got the cup with me. But it's time to add creatine and flight to my cup. Discount code Russell. Save you 10% off your order. Slap that in there. Creatine. Boom. Got my shoes for the today's session, my royal toes. <clears throat> and I'm gonna be running this white compression tee that I have underneath and I cut it up. I'm telling you, I'm trying to bring these cutoffs back when it comes to, I mean, it's not really a thing, but I'm trying to wear these cutoffs under my single. I think it's a vibe, low key. So I'm gonna keep wearing that, see how it vibes out. And then uh, who knows, maybe it'll be a thing. But okay, let's get to business. Like I said, we're gonna be hammering good technique on squat today. Depth, 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 depth is the name of the game for today's session. We're currently warming up on squat. Right now we have 595 pounds on the bar. Uh, so we're gonna do like a depth check type of thing to where we're gonna be focusing on once again hitting depth. So I'm gonna see if we're on the right track. Uh, I'm not too sure what my top single is gonna be. It's supposed to be an RP of six to seven. So just depending on how I feel and just how this particular set moves, uh, we'll, that will determine what we got for the top set. So let's check it out. Yeah. 
So we just did that top set, 705. I'm gonna be looking over this set a lot, just to see like the review. But I have you here, here, and he grabbed side angle for me. I'd say, I think that's pretty good. So that was 705 pounds. Move pretty good, appreciate you, bro. Yes, sir. Um, so I'm gonna send that over to Joey. We're gonna be monitoring depth a lot. I just, I think that, that was a good pretty, I think that was a pretty good set, sorry. That was a pretty good set, pretty good depth. I'll be looking over my front angle too, just to see. Um, but I want to be able to feel out um, depth at all times. So that was pretty good. So I was looking at the set, pretty good. But I, I think it was a uh, all right depth. Um, I'm just trying to think out loud. Like I don't know. I think it was okay depth. Um, yeah, I'm looking at the side footage really, and the side footage looks great. Uh, I'll send it to Joey and let me, and I'll let him kind of make a, a judgment call on that. Uh, I trust his judgment, and if he says it's high, it's high. I need to get lower, but I think that was better than Saturday's depth for sure. Uh, so we'll check it out. But now we're gonna drop the weight down. So we have <laughs> we have a two by eight. Oh man, um, so that's gonna be a lot of reps. Uh, I think maybe five twenty nine or four eighty. Four would be all right for today's workout just because like you know pulling back is okay so it's supposed to be like rp is 67 so a little some slight a little calm little lift okay i know i've been talking a lot but we dropped the weight down to 484 um i'm looking at the back down set i'm looking at the the top set and it's like i don't know man we could have got deeper i feel like this is like kind of right at depth but it's not like to where it's just absolutely undeniable and it's like the standard that we have is completely different from like a national stage. Um, this is a world level stage and they're very like, they're very picky with depth and they're like looking for a reason to take it away from you. So I just need to squat deeper, man. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to practice that feeling with uh, 484. It's, I mean, I have a set of eight. So if I can't hit depth with this shit, then I need to hang it up. Bobby, Sosa, Viral, Moose. I'm in this bitch with a Moosey. Ball in the summer like Sully. Champagne, I'm in Louie. Lizzie, Bobby, Louie. Addie, Lizzie, Louie. Addie, Lizzie, Louie. Addie, Lizzie, Louie. say had to be depth if it wasn't depth i'll stop piloting right now it has to be <laughs> sorry guys i'm like showing you guys the behind the scenes stuff of like what it means to be step away from the music but what it means to like be tapped in with your training right um i understand who i am as a lifter i don't need anyone else to tell me other than my coach obviously but i know what i need to work on and we know we need to do in order to make sure that we're undeniable on the platform i've competed at worlds three times never had any issues with any of my lifts but like i said that's because what we're doing inside of the gym and we're hammering that technique uh, so we'll do another set 484 pounds or a set of eight good technique and good depth <laughs> Finish up with the workout now. We're checking out some new apartment complexes. Um, I've been living near the gym and HQ uh, 
for quite some time now and it's time that I want to move back to the city. I originally moved over to Stafford because I wanted to be closer to like where I was working but now that the gym is going to be going away and I don't actually physically pull up to the HQ anymore. I want to get back into the city. I miss living in the city. The food options are better. The energy better. Options are better. But right now we're currently in a two bedroom, literally in the heart of the city, checking some places out. This is kind of like more of a loft style. So it has more exposed ceilings and all that kind of stuff along with it's like a two bedroom so this is the two bedroom that we have here I'll show you guys some more of it um so this is the secondary i think room along with the restroom come out here to the living space area and then walking over here to the kitchen then we go in here into the actual main room and this is the main room master bedroom along with uh the shower it might be the secondary i don't know I'm not doing this kind of stuff, but pretty cool. It's kind of crazy because the rent in Houston has been going crazy. Like, I bet like a spot like this probably would have cost like maybe twenty five hundred to three thousand. I think this is actually going for thirty eight hundred. <sighs> I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This is like the ideal, perfect beautiful apartment complex so like this is literally a loft style apartment so it's two bedrooms and um, it goes up like this right very very pretty very beautiful <laughs> pretty two bedroom i'm not a fan of the carpet though what the hell is this oh no no we're good we're good carpet inside of the room and then going into the restroom i was, I was about to say interesting oh okay so check this out though so this is the two bedroom, I'm assuming. The second bedroom is upstairs, but bruh, look at this, like, oh my God. So I would definitely sign on this, it's just that the rent here is uh, $4,800. <laughs> and this is like, this area here is upstairs and the second bedroom is upstairs, pretty cool. Once again, it's a loft style, so it has exposed ceilings. Oh, oh my god, bro. Damn. Oh, so amazing. But we will be seeing a one bedroom because uh, the one, I mean, like when I think about it, if I have the upstairs loft, all I really need is a one bedroom. I don't need a two bedroom because the two bedroom really comes into play. Oh, sorry, the stairs. The two bedroom comes into play because I have my shoe room or like my trophy room that I like to decorate. So, just look how crazy this is though, as well. Gotta stay within budget though. Can't be spending $5,000 every single month on rent. That's like $60,000, which is insane. So this is like the loft style one. It's not a one bedroom. It's literally just a loft. So it has like the stairs going up and then like literally when you get to the top, it's just the loft itself. Sorry guys, I'm so out of breath from going up and down the stairs. But uh, when you get up here, this would be like the pseudo bedroom type of thing. Um, which is going to be tough because like I have like all my shoes and stuff. So that's the problem. <sighs> then we come in here. Just so tired. <sighs> Restroom is right here. Very cool. Very standard. Um, yeah, this is dope. It's just uh, no bedroom. <laughs> which would be tough. They have a one bedroom loft. That just isn't available for viewing right now. So can't even check that one out today. All right, it's been a minute since I'm talking to you guys. I think the last time I spoke to you guys was like this past uh, Sunday or Monday or something like that. But this video is going to come to an end. Um, Duhon's going to come pick up the SD card and edit all the footage. But um, yeah, the last week of Corruption Strength is it's coming up. This is uh, I'm recording this on Friday, December 1st. And I'm, I'm assuming this video is going to be uploaded um, next week. But if you guys are in the area, if you guys are... Um, somewhere near Texas or Houston, Texas, uh, pull up to pull up to the gym. Um, it's gonna be the last week that we're gonna be open. Five dollar day passes leading all the way until closing, with uh, December eighth and December 9th being open gyms. We can come train for free and check it out. I've literally been meeting people all week um, that are pulling up, trying to just see where the gym, uh, see what the what the first crypto strength looked like, and all that kind of stuff. And I'm super thankful. Um, but yeah, uh, shit, December first. Basically, gonna start honing down on nutrition, getting ready for prep, 
and we're gonna really start documenting everything. Um, I know it was like a big thing about the whole squat stuff and like the depth. Uh, gotta get better at that. Uh, Tuesday we'll be able to kind of like see where we're at, but um, I looked at the footage again and again and again, and we need to squat deeper. <laughs> but anyways, thank you guys for tuning to today's video. Like always, if you like today's video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and get better today.